We're covering the muscular system, and I've been teaching anatomy for about 24 years now, and the best way to start this is just looking at the characteristics and properties that all muscle types share. Four types of tissue in the body, epithelial, muscle, connective, and nervous. For muscle, there's three types, cardiac, smooth, and skeletal. All three types of muscles share these characteristics. So let's start with just understanding the basic concepts that all muscle types share. The first is excitability, which I think is common sense. We have the ability to excite muscles. And how do we do that? We do that with the nervous system, that we use a neuron, and that's what this picture is showing, to communicate with neurotransmitters who are taking that chemical energy and turning it into something mechanical, a physical force. And we're creating a leverage from that that is the actual definition of a contraction. No different than you put gasoline into your car to make it move you're taking that chemical energy and making it mechanical. So excitability is the ability for it to respond to stimulation. As we move into muscles, we'll understand that I can change that stimulation. If I hold this piece of paper up, that took some force to do that. I had to talk to my muscles to hold this up. But I can change the force. I can crumple this and make it hard. So I can use the muscle fibers or cells to create different types of forces and they can alternate. So there's a frequency in which we have action potentials to increase, decrease, or maintain that actual excitement that we call excitability. Just my ability to have a posture, I'm always contracting, we call that a resting tension, that my muscles have the ability to create that posture. So there's different ways that we can move things and we create those movements by exciting the muscles with the nervous system. When we excite it, we're actually creating a tension or a force to pull. So all muscles pull, we don't push, we pull. And when we pull, it creates a leverage or a force. When we use the term like flexion, when we flex our muscles, as we flex, we're taking this and decreasing an angle. When I shorten the muscle, it creates a tension or a force so I can get some movement out of it. And this occurs anywhere through the body. We talked about our blood vessels have smooth muscle. My GI tract has muscles. Even though we're pushing the fluids along, it's the pulling of the tissue that creates the force to get it along. Even when we do what's called push-ups, when you're doing push-ups, you are pushing your body up, but the force you're creating within our pectoralis major is you're shortening the muscle. And you can feel that when you do the push-ups. So contractility is the ability to contract, but what are we actually doing? We're shortening the muscles to create that force. Then I can do it over and over again. That's called extensibility. I have the ability to contract over and over again, as long as I have the materials in my cells to create those action potentials from my nervous system to the muscle cells. When I run out of that or my body creates a homeostatic balance by allowing me to rest, I have to slow down. And we see that when we work out really hard and I'm trying to bench press something over and over again. At some point, I have to rest. But I do have that ability to contract over and over again as long as I'm taking that appropriate rest for my body to recover. We call that relaxation. So extensive Ability is the ability to continuously do it over and over again as long as I have that rest in between. Lastly, elasticity. No matter how many times I exercise and go like this, it's always going to have the same attachment points. And we'll describe those attachment points as the origin and the insertion. The origin is the point of attachment that has less movement. The insertion is the point of attachment of the muscle that has more movement. No matter how much I do this with my biceps brachii, those two attachment points are going to stay the same. Can I increase the size of the muscle? Yes. And with exercise, my body will increase the size of the muscle. We call that hypertrophy or hypertrophy. Atrophy is the opposite. But no matter what I do with the muscle, the attachment points stay the same. So it stays in its original length. It'll grow in size, it can decrease in size, but the attachment points stay the same. Excitability, contractility, extensibility, and elasticity are all these characteristics or properties that all three muscle types share. 
as I continue with the muscular system, there's a study guide available that you can click on below that'll highlight these things so you can practice with some of these concepts.